Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and training here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a natural Kiwi AHA scrub. Now let's get into the lab. Okay, so here I have my phase A ingredients. I have my water here and I'm going to then add to this my anionic surfactant. Now I have chosen a quite a mild and gentle surfactant. So this is the Eversoft ULS 30S, which is the sodium laurel glutamate. So this is a very mild and gentle surfactant. So it would be suitable for sensitive skin types um, and also a really good one to use on the face as well. Um, and this also leaves a very nice, pleasant uh, skin feel after wash off as well. So I'm gonna add this one in here and it's natural. Now I'm not including a amphoteric surfactant in here. Instead, I'm gonna add a non-ionic surfactant for mildness and to help boost the foam. This is diesel glucoside. So I'm gonna add a bit of this in there. And I'm just gonna give that a stir using low shear. Being careful not to introduce too much air, as you can see, it's already starting to foam. So you've just gotta be a bit careful when stirring. Now, I am going to add a gum to this to give my scrub a nice viscosity. I'm gonna use xanth from gum because it has really good particle suspension, which is definitely needed for our kiwi seeds here. It also is going to make my formula nice and clear, so it has a good visual effect, so you can actually see my kiwi seeds as well. Now, I'm going to add this into a bit of glycerin to slurry. The glycerin is also gonna help with skin conditioning as well. Now make sure you have really nice smooth slurry, so no lumps before adding it to your water because we don't want fish eyes because you cannot get them out. Once it's a nice smooth slurry like so, we're gonna add it into our water and surfactant. As you can see, that's starting to really thicken up nicely. Now it is causing a little bit of foam and bubbles, which should settle down in a couple of days. So you may need to leave it sit for a couple of days and let the bubbles sort themselves out. As you can see, that's turned into like a nice thick gel. So that definitely is gonna run from the hand when you pour it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my preservative I've chosen GeoGuard ECT as this is a nice natural preservative. And then I'm also going to add my kiwi seeds. So these are a 2000 micron grade. And I'm just gonna mix those in. And as you can see already, they're dispersing very nicely. Okay, next I'm gonna adjust my pH. Now I am gonna cover this up and let it sit for a while. Now, as I said before, it can take overnight to a couple of days for those bubbles to settle. It can be a bit hard when you're making small lab samples to avoid bubbles or foam, um, but these will eventually settle. So we're gonna let that sit and then come back tomorrow and reassess. Okay, so this is what it's looking like the next day. It's still a little bit bubbly, but again, these this will settle. And as you can see, you can see those kiwi seeds very, very well. So it's really important to make a clear formula here. So you've got a nice visual effect on those seeds. Now, as you can see, that's made a generous amount of foam. It feels really nice and smooth on the skin. It just glides over, it feels really nice and velvety. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a natural Kiwi AHA scrub. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.